What's going on guys? Bitcoin GTR checking back in with you. As you probably already know, in the local mall, walking up to my Tobbies real quick. You guys check it out. If you guys haven't been here, University Mall, Tampa, Florida, definitely gotta come check out my Tobbies, fellas. What's up, brother? What's going on? Oh, you already know, we're here to pick up something special. <laughs> Here to get a little, a little special, special delight. What's up, man? Good, man. How about you? You know, I'm chilling, brother. Guys, this is Errol, owner of My Tobbies. What's up, buddy? How are we man, feeling today? Playing pretty good. Heck yeah, man. So you already know, we are here to take a look at something. Might actually get to do a little bit more than look at it. Who knows? But we'll do a quick little tour of the hobby shop here, guys. Yeah, buddy. Well, it'd be nice to do a proper unboxing because that's kind of what everyone's doing right now is doing the unboxing. And then I'll just take it for like a little, probably in the morning, like when there's no traffic or whatever, I'll take it out to Lizard Tail and I'll just do like maybe like one or two up and downs and then put it back in the box. Yeah. Cause I don't want to scratch it up or burn out the tires or anything crazy. I ain't gonna do no burnouts. And I, I will appreciate it, but you know. No, I'm not gonna do any of that kind of stuff. But yeah, guys, here is the all new one seventh scale arm of felony. As you guys saw my post on Facebook, I caught a charge and uh, this is it. This is the felony here. I told you guys I wasn't BSing. I was gonna have it in my hands on Friday, and today is Friday, and we are looking at this brand new creation from Arma. And Errol from My Tobbies is doing me a solid. Shouts out to Horizon Hobby. He went ahead and confirmed with Horizon Hobby that I'm able to take it home for the night, just for the night though. And um, yeah, guys, shouts out Horizon Hobby. Yeah, this thing is nasty, guys. This thing is awesome. You guys can see the rest of the hobby shop here. They've got everything you really want and need. Full selection of motors, ESE combos. You got your fans down there. You got the Beast Pro. You guys know I love my Beast Pros. Those are 300 amp ZTW Beast Pro. ESE's 12S capable. You guys see they've got some larger scale here. They got the Red Cat Rampage right there for you. The Losi 5T, you guys saw my dual motor Losi 5T. These guys put that together for me. We got the Crate Nate S. Might do that for a waffle here coming up soon. We've got the Losi DBXL K&N. That's looking awesome. I got one of those mini 5Ts as well, the mini Ts. The Losi 8. You got a bunch of stuff going on here, fellas. Small scale stuff. You guys are into the E-Revos. We got some great selections here for you. Bandits, rustlers. Got them all going on here for you, fellas. X-Max, of course. Got one of those going on for a raffle right now, a green one. Get your spots, guys. We got about 35 spots left. Trying to get that raffled off for you guys. You guys could see this hobby shop means nothing but business. Nothing but business. Check out the Mad Cat or the Mad Van from Kyosho. That's pretty cool. Look at the tanks, all the bigger scale stuff. Someone mentioned that we should do one of these for a waffle. We might have to do it. It's ready to go. Some of these are pretty pricey, but. We'll make it happen. The shop is awesome here, guys. Shop is super big. And he's also even got a toy store on the other side. And uh, it's not fully stocked right now. It's kind of maybe gonna be a seasonal thing. But after a few months, after COVID kind of chills out, hopefully it chills out. He'll get back to the toy store over there. But in the meantime, plenty of, uh, Plenty of action figures. You got your Lego kids. Plenty of parts, pretty much every brand of parts that you can really want. But uh, that's a quick little tour of my Tobbies. Hobby shop is always taking care of me. 
we are going to be taking this beast no. home. Shouts out Horizon Hobby for letting me take it home for a little late night test, late night unboxing. Everyone else is doing their unboxings. So this one might not be the first, but this will be the probably the first one that's not done in a hobby shop. As you guys can see, it is actual size, what we're looking at here. It looks way bigger than the Limitless, even though the Limitless is the same scale. It just looks bigger. The body of this is wider, a little bit taller than the Limitless. Again, shouts out Horizon Hobby for letting me take this home for the night. Errol went ahead and called them and talked to them, and they said it was cool to hand it over to me. It's an honor because a lot of the guys that are demoing these right now have been on YouTube with a lot more views than me, a lot more videos than I, but you already know, I appreciate you guys. Horizon Hobby, My Tobbies. If you guys want one of these, make sure you call the store. He's got eight pre-orders right now, meaning if you wanna be in the first 10, you got two more slots left. So if you guys call My Tobbies, speak to Errol or one of the employees, let them know that Bitcoin GTR sent you and any of the accessories that you get, you'll get 5% off. Now, I don't think they're gonna do anything on these because they have to be full price. But uh, as far as all your accessories, like batteries, max amps, Electron Pros, your smart technology spectrum stuff, chargers, you name it, you'll get 5% off if you mention Bitcoin GTR. But check out this work they do, guys. Look at this GT Limitless. Look at that paint, it's wet, dude. That paint is wet on the Limitless. And they do ZTW on this stuff too. ZTW, TP power combos. And they're holding up because they're not over volted and they're not running them on 12S. They're only like an 8S setup on those. Here's another Limitless. This is coming from Stupid RC. Stupid RC makes those. But yeah, guys. We are rocking out here at my tobbies. You got her taped up? Yep, she's all taped up ready for you. She's all taped up and ready. All right, I'll try to bring it back in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to bring it back in those speeding tickets. No speeding tickets, no, no misdemeanors, no felonies, huh? There you go. Yeah, we'll be all right, I hope. I'm gonna do a run in the early morning tomorrow. I'll do the unboxing tonight. And... Nice. Yeah, man, that's freaking sick. What is it, 649? Yeah. I think it's 649. Something like that. It's, I don't think it's on the box yet. Yeah, no, I don't think it is either. I just saw somebody say it in the in a forum. So that rear tire, fellas, take a look at that 53 millimeter rear tire. The fronts are only 42 mil, but the rear tires are 53 millimeters. So those are super, di super deep dish. And it's actually a slightly bigger tire as well. It's a 107 millimeter tire and it's a 2.9 inch wheel, right? Yes, 2.9 inches. And even the differentials are different teeth. Yeah, the di yeah so I heard the differential in the front is smaller tooth than any other car yeah. they've done. Uh, a lot of people are already saying they're going to take that differential and put it in the Limitless and start doing more speed runs. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I definitely have seen a couple people talk about doing that. But um, I also heard that the e-brake is an available option for this. Even though it's only just on the infraction to begin with, there's awesome. an e-brake option. And you can buy it right now for $39 on Horizon Hobby's website. And you can put the e-brake in it. And with the new remote that they've got, they've got this little thumb button and a remote activates the servo and it puts a little like, I don't know, some kind of stub into the, into the drive train and it locks up the rear wheels. It allows you to do power slides with the handbrake. That's did what they're calling. The stabilizer, the bearings, to stabilize the dog bone. Yeah, they did that as well. Yeah, That's yeah. freaking awesome. That good. We had to go and customize a whole thing with what Matt did. And, right. Yeah, no longer having stuff. to do that. Let's hope those hold up. Yeah, hopefully. But they're metal bearings. Uh, they should do fine. They're obviously free floating, but it's still metal on metal. Metal on metal. So know? it should be all right. It should be just fine. It should be all right, man. I can't wait to try this thing out later. It's gonna be dope. The connectors, what are the connectors? Do you know? Uh, IC5s. IC5s? 
Well, Earl, I guess I'll get out of here, huh? It's yours. I'll uh, I'll take good care of it. I'll be back tomorrow at 12. I got you. And uh, we'll do some light runs on it. I'll clean it up, make sure it's good. It'll be it'll be good. It'll be fun. As I have available inventory, it's yours. Freaking awesome. What do you think they're gonna actually start? They, you said next like next week. week they'll start next shipping. Week. Next week we're gonna give it get a shipment. You're gonna get a shipment. I don't know when they're gonna ship it. So oh, okay. Ship it in, the, in the early in the week we'll get it. Because some people are saying three weeks. No, so there's a shipment being shipped next week. Next week sure it's that's we're being told. You're being told so yes. far. So that's and pretty much what everyone's being told. Is September eighth. Oh boy. So we're we're it's not too far. Not too far actually. We're close. We're fifteen days away from the end of the it's month. Not too far. Yeah, it's that's three weeks out. It's not bad at all. There's gonna be a change for a while. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna have any You're gonna get these bodies? Stuff. You gotta get these bodies and clear. Gotta get the bodies. If you're the first one with the bodies, Hello? game over. We'll see what we can get. All right. Yeah, because I'm gonna try my paint game on this one if you get a clear body. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna throw some, I'm gonna probably throw a Max Am 6S in it. 150. and felonies are coming at the same time. Oh, are they? Yeah. So I need one of those too. I need the store model that one. Well, the store model, there's not gonna be a store model. So that's just, gonna, that's just gonna come. So I I'll do that. Some pre-orders that I had to fill, but I'm pretty sure I'll have some of them. They're they're, they're still both six forty nine for both, which is a really good price, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, and they're not rollers. They're actually what like a, for what you get. It's, yeah. Over other companies, we won't talk about, but you know. <laughs> Go Arma. Dude, thought I might get that. So this isn't even the BLX. So these are okay. Omegas. Wow. So wait, these aren't even the new ones. Those are the new ones. These are the new ones. The, okay, got you. Also, there is new BLX 3S. The BLX 3S is what I'm going after. It's the all black one, but it's bigger than this, right? They got an all black one. Is it really? All black is the big rock. That's what you're talking about. Yes, the big rock. Yeah. You're not gonna get the big rock in stock. Oh. I wish they came out with the eight scale big rock. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. They're, they might come out with something soon, depending on how the smaller BLX goes for the Big Rock. They might come out with something bigger. We'll see. You never know. All right, guys, you can see I've got the felony. I'm walking out of the mall with it right now. Shouts out Horizon Hobby. Thanks, Errol, for calling in, speaking to Horizon, getting them to approve me to take this home tonight. I don't think anybody has actually taken it home yet. This might be the only at-home unboxing coming at you. So, definitely stay tuned for the unboxing. Walking out of the mall right now with the felony. We'll check back in here in a bit, fellas. What's going on, guys? Bitcoin GTR checking back in with you. Coming at you with another unboxing. This is probably gonna be one of the most anticipated unboxings because this is Arma's brand new 1 7th scale Arma Felony, man. This thing is awesome. You guys are gonna, of course, see me unbox this real quick. I'm gonna, of course, go over all the cool features and tomorrow morning, we're gonna go take it out for a bash and we're gonna go ahead and see what this thing's all about. So if you guys are interested in that, smash the like button for your boy, subscribe and turn those notification bells on because not only am I going to be unboxing this brand new arm of felony, but I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Infraction BLX. Those will be shipping next week along with the arm of felony. Contact your local hobby shops if you're interested. If you want to go ahead and get one as quick as possible, I'd probably contact my Tobbies right away. You guys, of course, will be able to see a link to my Toppies website in the description below. So definitely hit up my Toppies if you're looking to go ahead and get one ASAP. These pre-orders are selling fast, so act fast. But yeah, guys, take a look at this brand new 1 7 scale, 80 mile an hour out of the box, felony street basher inspired by a muscle car. You guys can see this thing just looks sweet, man. Just on the box, it looks sweet. Unfortunately, I don't have the black one, but I do have, in my opinion, the better looking orange one. The orange one's inside the box. It goes over, 
you know, those finer body lines a little bit more and kind of displays them a bit better than the flat black. But don't get me wrong, if I had the black, I would be happy as well. But considering this is the store model and I'm not actually allowed to buy it yet, I was only able to borrow it. Shouts out to Errol at My Tobbies for speaking to Horizon Hobbies. And thank you, Horizon Hobbies, for letting me be able to do one of the first at home unboxings seen on YouTube. This is going to be epic. Like I said, guys, if you are you know, as excited as I am, go ahead and smash the like button, leave a comment, let me know how sick you think this is, let me know if you're popping, you know, your cherry and getting one too, I would love to see you guys get one of these, this is definitely going to be a very, very fun street basher, it obviously reminds me of the infraction, and you guys know I've got the arm infraction, arm infraction right there, that beast is on 12S, you guys can see I have a lot of unboxings to do, I've got an RC Max 80 Supreme uh, motor in there ready to go ahead and unbox. Brand new, built by Mike over at RC Max. I've got brand new Rapid Tunagy 5500 mAh batteries. You guys know I've got my MGM system already. But yeah guys, I've got a lot more coming to the channel. You guys already know about my Creighton 12S. That's running the ZTW combo. You guys know about my low C DBXL that's running an O'Neill Brothers 7 horsepower motor. We've got the MTXL with the same 7 horsepower OBR motor. You guys know about my low C 5T there, dual 12S, dual ZTW, dual 620 kV motor. I'm running two 35 tooth pinions against a 56 tooth spur. So, what's that? 1.2 to 1 gearing. I mean the ratio is insane. I've got a Baja right here ready to go. This is a Baja hybrid. It's a 5T in the front and then all the guts and glory of a Baja in the rear. I've got an X-Max, brand new, literally sealed in the box. Brand new X-Max guys. We've got the Waffle Group. You guys need to go ahead and join that ASAP. It's called Epic RC Waffles. We're going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below. You guys join the Waffle Group. This is a real cheap, easy way to get into the hobby or you know, load up on Christmas gifts. But yeah, guys, this is a real cheap way to get into RC cars or particularly if you're looking to get a couple more to add to your collection. We've got about 36 or 35 spots left on this X-Max. Again, it's brand new in box. Purchased from my Tobby's cash receipt will be included. It is sealed in box and they are $30 a spot right now So if you guys are interested epic RC waffles, that's W A F F L E S check it out but um, last but not least guys Take a look at my other 5t project if you guys notice that that's an LMT Leonard motor that's a 3100 and it's 40,000 kilowatts and that equates to 53 and a half horsepower so more or less I'm gonna have 53 horsepower you know between the front diff the center locker and the rear diff Pro-Am RC Max billet diffs so we should have no problems going ahead and powering this motor the MGM ESE is a behemoth I've got these crazy mounts over here. These mounts I've kind of concocted myself and the ESC will kind of sit more or less like that in the middle and the motor will go nice and under it. But enough of that, let's talk about this felony guys. Look at this beast. So it is a 6S BLX. It is considered an all road street basher. And as you guys can see, it comes equipped with the gearing to allow it to get up to 80 plus miles an hour out of the box. I believe they include a 26 tooth speed pinion. Now this speed pinion, you don't want to you know, go ahead and street bash with that 26 tooth pinion. You want to use that for more of a drag race application, you know, a quick hit, quick comeback. You don't want to go ahead and run a whole pack on a 26 tooth. It's just not going to work out the best for you. I promise you, you're probably gonna overheat the motor. So if you guys wanna bash all day, just use the regular tooth pinion that comes with it. I'm not sure exactly, I think it's like a 16th or a 17 tooth, but it comes with a much smaller pinion to allow that motor to cool itself over a period of time as you're bashing, rather than full out. So just keep that in mind. But as you guys can see, it's got the Spectrum electronics, it's got the smart technology, it's got the Fermi ESE, and you guys could see it's obviously got a patent. If 
you guys are interested in checking out the patent, that'll probably be pretty interesting to look up on Google, so take a look if you're interested. You guys can see over 10 years of blasting and bashing. These guys have just been killing the game. I'm not gonna mention a couple other brands that are just really looking foolish right now, but I'm gonna tell you that Arma is making them look funny, guys. They are continuously releasing cars, continuously releasing cars. And they're not just little wacky remakes of trucks that have already been out for 10 years. They are continuously innovating. So Arma is on top of their game right now. Smash that like button if you agree. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys are into RC cars, you can't help but to know Arma is doing big things. And we are going to be doing big things here on my Bitcoin GTR YouTube channel. So if you are not subscribed, please subscribe right away. I just passed 5,000 subscribers. I appreciate all of you. You guys are freaking awesome. Thanks for watching my content. Thanks for all your feedback. Thanks for all the tips. Shouts out to my RC family. We got True Boys RC, Life of Coach D. Man, we got Gap Reviews A to Z. We got Shogun RC, The Heat 305, Mobe RC, Icon, Rattle Can on Lexan. We've got Errol at My Tobbies. We got Vishnu at My Tobbies. We got Matthew at My Tobbies. But shouts out to my RC family. We are gonna go ahead and open this real quick. All right, guys, you see what's included in the box. We've got the Felony, of course. That's the 6S BLX. We've got the Spectrum Firma 150 Amp Smart ESE. We've got the Spectrum Firma 4074 2050 KV brushless motor. Man, this thing is going to scream. We've got the Servo ADS 15M Servo in there. I believe that's an Arma Servo. We've got the Spectrum DX3 Smart DSMR radio. That's actually a brand new acquisition from Spectrum. We've got the AVC, we've got a 2.4 gigahertz radio. We'll go ahead and get more into that. Of course, what you need to complete it is four AA batteries, a charger, a LiPo safe charging bag because you definitely don't wanna be charging LiPos without any type of safety. They do blow up and they will hurt you um, if they do blow up. So definitely always practice safety. These look like toys but you guys can see age recommendation not for children under 14 years of age this is not a toy these things if you get yourself hit at 50 60 miles an hour it will do damage it will probably break your leg if you're standing on a ladder and you think you're safe the car will take out the ladder bruise your ribs break your wrist and you guys just need to know these are not toys for children. So do not buy this car for your kid and send him out with his friends. You need to be there to you know, be looking over these kids because this thing is fast, this thing will hurt you, and enough of that, but just know, take the car seriously, it might look like a toy, but I promise you, it's not gonna feel like a toy if something happens, so. It, you, you might not even be you might not even be reckless enough to hit yourself you know you could crash and the car battery inside blow up and cause a fire and you know you just never know what'll happen so always have parental supervision if you're under age 14 I wouldn't even buy it for a kid under 14 get them something like get them something like the mini T you know what I mean mini T 2.0 that's RTR from Horizon Hobby Get them something like this Micro RS4 from HPI Racing. Get them even something like the small Lambo. Or, you know, if you want to go ahead, there's so many options for the smaller kids. You don't need to get them the big and bad right away. Start them out small. But enough talking. Let's get more into what this is all about, all right, guys? First off, of course, we're going to move the plastic. Take the plastic on off of it. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna keep that nice. You gotta get it back to the hobby shop before 12.30 tomorrow. That was Horizon Hobbies stipulations and my Tobby stipulations to have the car back before open, but I can do the review tonight. So shouts out Horizon Hobby. Thank you so much, Errol. You are freaking one of the coolest hobby shop owners I've ever met in my life all the other hobby shop guys I see on YouTube 
they ain't as cool as you, bro. So I appreciate you, all the employees at my Tobbies. You definitely know I love all of you as well. Thank you so much for putting up with me and letting me act the fool when I go in there. And thanks for taking care of me every time I'm in there. I really appreciate you guys. You guys make the hobby great. It's all about the customer relationship with the owners of the hobby shop that really, really brighten the experience when it comes to the hobby. If you don't have a good, if you don't have a good hobby shop owner, you don't have a fun, cool hobby shop to go to, it's just not the same. Oh my God, look at this thing, dude. Oh man. <laughs> This is a freaking beast, dude. Freaking beast. It's so sick. Arma, you guys knocked this out of the park again. How many times are you gonna keep doing this to us? You're gonna make me go broke, man. This thing is freaking beautiful. Look at the body lines. I mean. Holy moly. This thing is beautiful, dudes. Beautiful. You can go ahead and accessorize. You can go ahead and put the turbo chargers. You see the little divots there already? Oh, here it is. So you guys can pick up this ProTech RC body reamer. I'm pretty sure those little dimples or divots right there, you go ahead and put the holes through there and the turbo charger will go on there and maybe there's a screw or some kind of body clip or something in the rear that clips them on. We'll go ahead and get into those here in a sec. But yeah guys, we are going to pop the top on this beast. I know you guys have kind of already seen the body as up close as I can really get it here. I mean, just look at it, it's so sick. And I'm sorry for just kind of sounding like a child, but man, look at the deep dish on these wheels. You see that? A freaking figure a dish, baby. Sign me up, man. I can eat some candies off that wheel, man. Let's go. Look at those hoons. Look at those hoons. I really want to get like 10 or freaking 20 of these and put them on all my cars. Just... All right, boys. We're going to go ahead and pop the top on the brand new... One seventh scale arm of felony. Here it goes in three, two, one. Let's go. That's freaking sweet, man. All right, fellas, you guys can see we popped the top, giving you a quick overview of the chassis of the just all of the great work that arm is doing here i mean we've got the firma 4074 2050 kv brushless motor we've got the firma 150 amp smart and waterproof ese capable of 4 and 6s it comes with a little capacitor bank on there. That definitely helps for power delivery and smoothing out the voltage as it delivers the power to the motor. And again, that motor is a 2050 kV, so that's 2050 kV. I would say that's definitely gonna be able to get this up to 80 mile an hour. I would say the gear that's on it now, if I had to quickly look at it, if I had to quickly look at it, I'm gonna say that's either a 16th or a 17 tooth pinion. It was it's probably a 16 tooth pinion. You guys can see here this drive this drive shaft upgrade. 
So this bearing right here, it's steel to steel. So in the previous versions of the infraction, let's say, and the limitless, let's say, the drive shaft is so long that when it got up to speed, it would actually like bind and you would see it kind of look like it was just in a sense wavy, but that was just because of the speed of the spinning of the shaft. Now they've got this little carrier bearing like deal here and that kind of mounts right up to the drive shaft and as it's spinning, this bearing is spinning and it's keeping the drive shaft straight, which is really, really, really awesome. We also have the ADS 15M, it's a waterproof metal geared servo. That metal gear servo is capable of 195 ounces at six volts. And I'm pretty sure you can maybe up it to 7.4 volts and get a little extra out of it, but I'm not sure on the specifics of how many ounces if you up it to 7.4. Don't quote me on that, but you guys of course wanna see what the remote looks like, right? Gonna get this Spectrum 2.4 gigahertz DX3 smart DSMR remote here. This has got AVC, it's got the DSMR technology, and man, I would say they definitely stepped it up with the DX3. There's your smart battery level reading indicator there. You've got throttle limit, so basically, if you're just handing in this car off maybe to a beginner or maybe you're a beginner yourself, you can go ahead and limit the throttle to a 50%, 75%, or all the way to the right, which is 100%. You've got your throttle and steering. You can reverse those. If you're someone that likes to go forward going like that and braking like this, you can go ahead and change that to reverse. If you're someone that likes to go right when you steer it that way and left when you steer it that way. Everyone's different. You guys can go ahead and change that on the remote. You also have the ABC steering. You have the brake rate. You have the steering trim and the throttle trim. So that's really awesome to see. I am also aware that you're able to set your endpoints on this remote as well. Of course, there's your bind button. And this button right here, this is the button that you're gonna use for the handbrake. So you're able to install a handbrake into this chassis here. You can see the holes mount up for it right there, one, two, three. And you're able to go ahead and install the handbrake. I believe the handbrake comes stock on the Infraction BLX only, but if you wanna to go to Horizon Hobby or My Tobbies and order the handbrake, I believe it's $39.99. And it'll allow you to use this button right here. And this button, It'll allow you to use this button right here, and this button right here will control that handbrake. So, when you wanna get into a nice sweet drift, let's say you're going 30, 40 mile an hour, and you wanna lock up these rear wheels, that handbrake paired with the servo will insert a rod of some sort into the drivetrain line, and it will stop the center diff from moving and if you're going a certain speed, it won't just lock up the fronts, it'll only lock up the rears. And it'll be able to do a nice sweet drift. And I would say that's definitely a really cool improvement for Armas platforms, and especially this brand new Arma Felony build. I mean, they are coming out with all the goods. You guys can see the chassis brace right here. They come with the plastic front and rear chassis braces. You can always get upgrades if you're into that. They make so many upgrades for these cars, it will blow your mind and blow a hole through your wallet. I promise you that. You guys can see, this just is just a really well laid out, just well put together vehicle, guys. You guys can see the deep dish on those wheels. Deep dish on those wheels. I mean, look at how nice and thick those wheels are. I mean, man oh man. If I have some brand new wheels to show you, I'll show you these ones right here. Those are about the same, right? But look at it compared to the rear. Look how much bigger the tire is, first off, and look how much wider the tire is in the rear. And you guys could see the dish action. See how that dish right there, that deep dish, eat you some candies off that beast. 
in that dish and that allows that tire to be a lot thicker. A lot more grip, a lot more traction, a lot more control when you're using that handbrake. If you guys go ahead and install that handbrake, it's definitely going to be a very fun car. We are going to be bashing with this tomorrow morning before I have to bring it back to the store. So I will be doing a part two to this video, so be sure to subscribe. Of course, like the video and share it with your friends. You guys can see they got their fan on there, keeping that heat sink nice and cool on that 2050 kV motor, capable of 4S and 6S. <clears throat> so if you've got one 6S battery or you have two 3S batteries or you just have one 4S battery, you can use this, basically, <clears throat> you can use this jumper and you can plug one battery into it only. Or if you're using two batteries, you just disconnect this jumper and you plug in both batteries. But of course, if you're using one, doesn't matter which one you plug it into, you can definitely go ahead and only use one battery if you wish. As far as the batteries go, I'm probably gonna use, I got a couple batteries. You guys can see I've got a good bunch of batteries over there. Um, I'm probably gonna use two 3S batteries here just to kind of play it safe and keep the balance on the car nice. So I'll go ahead and I'll put these 3S batteries right in here and those will fit perfectly. One, one and two. And guys, if you guys wanna pick up some Electron Pro batteries, these are 5200 milliamps, these are 50C, these are a high performance LiPo battery. You can get them from commonsenserc.com or you can order them from My Tobbies or your local hobby shop. If you guys wanna go ahead and save 5% on all your RC orders, I do now have a discount code. I repeat, if you guys want 5% off on all your RC orders from My Tobbies, I do now have my own personalized discount code. If you guys couldn't guess, it's Bitcoin GTR, all caps. B-I-T-C-O-I-N, GTR, no space, Bitcoin GTR, 5% off at My Tobbies. Please do no longer call the store. I repeat, please no longer call the store. I know a lot of you guys are calling wanting to speak to Matthew. Matthew's got a wrench on cars. Matthew's got to keep the cars coming out. He loves talking to you guys about the hobby. He loves talking to you about the information on how he does things. But at the end of the day, Errol, the owner of My Tobbies, can no longer have Matthew on the phone for half a shift. It just is no longer feasible. So right now, what Errol has done is he implemented a new chat service on the My Tobbies website. You can go ask your questions in the chat box on the website. It goes to a funnel portal where he's able to answer all the questions at once. He gets back to you and it texts you back on your phone the answers. So definitely take advantage of that new service that Errol at My Tobbies introduced. Again, thank you for, of course, letting me go ahead and review this at home for the first time. I'm gonna have a great time bashing tomorrow. Again, shouts out to Horizon Hobbies. You guys absolutely killed it. I mean, look at all these accessories you get. I mean, this is the full bag, ready to go. Let's open this beast up. Here's that 26 tooth pinion. You can see how much bigger it is than the one that's currently in there. See how much bigger it is than the one that's currently in there. 26 tooth, that's for, you know, the high speed guys. You can see we've got a cool intercooler you can add in there. That intercooler can go right on the front. Different body posts, different body mounts, a, for a bunch of different accessories. I'm gonna guess this goes on this. And yeah, I'm gonna guess that goes on that, which looks like it's the right size. So. Thanks for going ahead and including that Arma. A lot of people will just like buy some carbon tube and they'll just cut their own carbon tube. But this is this is cool too. I like the rubber as well. So thank you, thank you guys at Arma for including that. You always get your trusty dusty tools. It always comes with those. I mean, if you have, I don't know, 10 or 15 of these, you're an OG in the RC hobby. I know people that have like 60 of these tire tools. That means you're super OG. So shout out to you guys. You guys could see the blower attachment. This blower attachment will go right on the hood. You could see the little holes mesh up right there. 
and that goes right on top and that looks freaking super cool and this extra bag here this is for your turbos look at those big turbos right there dude see those turbos in the bag those are freaking sweet man velocity stacks if you want to do the velocity stack you can do you could do the freaking velocity stacks and the turbos you could you could do the supercharger with the turbos it's all 100 percent customizable you do what you want the stickers there you know i'm a sticker fiend i'll definitely be putting these stickers to good use those are the stickers that you can put on the blower there and make that blower look a lot nicer that's really awesome you guys can see maximum performance here you guys could take a look 35c batteries 6s lipo ready you can see with that speed gearing that's 80 plus mile an hour out of the box and it says do not use for off-road or high load repetitive start and stop driving as this will overheat the motor and or speed controller and cause damage and or failure so if you're wanting to do some all road definitely stick with the standard gearing that standard gearing is going to take care of you definitely follow these instructions because this is going to protect your warranty and protect your car overall and of course your manual here you guys already know the manual is there good to go and there's nothing else in the box there you guys have it there's my unboxing I literally have 6% left of my GoPro. I'm going to go charge my GoPro batteries up. And tomorrow morning, we are going to bash. I might go ahead and throw... I don't know. I'm not going to accessorize it right now. I'm just going to go ahead and run it out of the box the way it comes with two 3S batteries, 50C rating on both Electron Pros. And, of course, I might zip tie these wires here I might do a little zip tie here depending on how things are looking I don't like the wires to get anywhere close to the gearing or the drivetrain because that's never good but um, yeah this servo feels nice definitely feels good car looks good I'm super happy with it shouts out to Horizon Hobby again shouts out to Arma Jason you are killing it keep doing exactly what you're doing we all love you. We all support you. We all respect you. Thank you for listening to your customers. Thank you for fixing all of the little doohickey things that happen with these cars as you release them out to customers and they get more testing done to them. Thank you for improving them. Thank you for coming out with the BLX kit. Man, I can't wait to own every single Arma car. This has been the Arma Felony 1 7th scale muscle car themed 80 mile per hour out of the box street basher unboxing smash that like button i appreciate you guys for coming and tuning in if you guys haven't already smash that subscribe button i appreciate you thank you so much it's been bitcoin gtr with another unboxing many more to come signing out